Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Wyatt and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, witchcraft and your hair, especially if you, well, witchcraft and your hair, period, but this is more toward gain stalking victims. Um, but before I get started, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click the notification bell. I want you to be um, notified when I post up new videos. And um, but I want to tell you guys something. My products are absolutely wonderful and I'm not bragging on them. I'm going to do an update video on my alopecia if you go to my videos, you will see a video. Uh, I don't know the name, but my hair, <laughs> just to let you know, uh, the still photo is me and uh, my hair is like a star. You know, it's like six points. <laughs> and um, and, uh, and and so listen to that video, you guys, because I'm doing an update on my hyperpigmentation uh, the hyperpigmentation of my skin. And I'm also going to be doing another video on my skin, my face. Uh, and it's also about uh, my um, alopecia. There's 14 types of alopecia. I have a video on that as well. Uh, 14 types of alopecia, I think is the name of the title. But you guys, one of the things I noticed um, years ago, ago being a gang stalking victim for eight years I don't know an exact date at this point doing this video but I um yeah about right about eight years going or at least going on eight years if not a little bit over eight years but either, either way I one of the things I noticed uh is that brushing your hair I don't brush my hair anymore and uh because it's damaging to I'm 4c and it's very damaging to the hair. So I don't brush my hair anymore. And the only time I will brush my hair, which I have to because my hair is so thick, is when I put it into puff balls. Yeah, I have to do a little brushing then with a lot of gel, flaxseed, you know, whatever, flaxseed gel or whatever. Um, but one of the things I noticed, gathering information, not knowing what, Target, uh, not even knowing that I was targeted or gang stalked. I did not know anything about those terms. I just knew something was going on. I knew I was being followed everywhere I went. I knew I had tracking devices, you know, timeline, in other words. And one of the things I noticed for the fifth time <laughs> is my brush. I noticed on purpose that. The hair from my brush was being manipulated. And I knew, which is what made me pay attention to it. In other words, I purposely left hair in my brush to see if the hair would be tampered with. You know, I didn't like cut it and put some hair in my my, my brush, you know, um, you're going to lose hair, you know, and supposedly 150 hairs a day. I totally disagree with that, but okay. Um, but the hair that was there, I left it there because I think I noticed that it was being manipulated. You know what I'm saying? And so I was right. You guys, if most, if, how can I put this? If you are a targeted individual, you're going to be gang stalked. I've been consistent with that. Um, although they're two different things, they're kind of of the same. You are going to be gang stalked if you're targeted. But it doesn't mean, however, if you're gang stalked, you're a targeted individual. Okay. Targeted individuals are some of the most strongest people on the planet. We're usually um, empaths of some type. Um, usually hey Oka empaths which is like the some people would like to say the scariest empaths um because we we don't waver in our thought process we don't we don't mind changing our mind but we have to have facts we're not going to talk about someone because you're talking about them uh you know we're just very strong people very um conscious mind conscious of our thoughts and you know, we can't be swayed this way or that way, uh, chosen, 
uh, in, in, in you know just just that person, and but usually. Now, I'm not going to say usually extremely start, smart people, then this is inclusive of inclusive of not just uh, book sense, but street sense, com, lots of common sense, you know, lots of common sense and, um, you know, with all those senses. And so we as empaths, targeted individuals, we can kind of sense what's going on with you just from talking to you or if you were to pass by us. We can sense, and I do this all the time, did not know that I had this talent, but, you know, I just knew, in other words, I never focused on this until I realized targeted individual, okay, gang stalking victim, victim, okay, you know, I, in other words, there was never a title for me being able to meet a person and know that they're going through something. That's the empath part, empathy part of me. Um, strangers, I, I, I guess, you know, I, I, matter of fact, just, just last week I met someone and I was like, it's going to be okay or something, something I said to them or whatever. And I've also seen people and just from looking at them, I could tell something's going on with them, but the hair in my brush, I noticed that it was being manipulated. I knew that on the sides of my head and look at that video and you'll know what area of my head I'm talking about in the front. I knew that from me, me wearing weave with the glue that I had basically damaged. I thought <laughs> that part of my hair permanently for the rest of my life, because that hair had that area was very, very thin, which, which are vellus hairs, you know, hindsight, you know, and fast forward, and which are little thin hairs that and there, there was no growth it was just my that area of my hair was stagnant. I'm proud to say that that area, those two areas of my hair. Oh, and by the way, by the way, back up back in 2013 or 14, when I decided to be, go natural. I actually not having much hair in those air in those two areas, I decided to do a test. And knowing that you should clip your ends, okay, or you should get them clipped. I'm learning, you know, this is a timeline. I actually cut the ends of one of those areas of uh, on the on one side of my hair in that air, in those two areas and left the other alone because I wanted to see if maybe if I, you know, clip the ends that that would grow. And And over the years, I found that to be true. That because I clipped the air, uh, hair, the ends in that area, one of two, that the hair in that area over time was thicker than the hair in the other area. I have since clipped both, <laughs> knowing that, you know, fast forward with my skin and hair care line. And I can say pat on the back that my um, hair products Specifically, all of them help grow your hair. Don't get me wrong, but I've been focusing on flax, the flaxseed gel, which is totally growing <laughs> my hair. I don't just make flaxseed gel, growing my alopecia, growing my hair, but I'm focusing on alopecia in this video. Um, totally growing my alopecia, you know, and traction alopecia is what I have. And I noticed, this is what I noticed. And I had read this or, or listened to this in someone's video that if you put product on your hair where your alopecia is, in some cases, it's just going to eat it up. In other words, it's like you never put anything there. I found myself um, reapplying flaxseed gel now my flaxseed gel is enhanced and I'm not talking about in thickness necessarily because you know it is what it is you make your flaxseed gels how you want but it is enhanced uh which is is is, is one of the reasons why it, it, it grows your hair so fast but I noticed on the side of my hair the area of my hair where I did not like I said I finally did cut it I did not 
cut it the first time, you know, left and right. I noticed that every time I put product on that side of my hair, flaxseed gel, that it was as, as if uh, and within hours or within waking up, you know, and checking that area to see if it was growing or whatever, I would notice uh, ke- always keeping keeping a bonnet on my head in most cases. I would notice that when I would fill up there that that hair, that the, there was no product. Now, I know at this point that I am a victim of gang stalking, targeted individual impact. I know all of these things. And I have to apologize to you guys. I'm doing this video in the dark. So it's just videos in the dark. And um, I, 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 I knew going back into my history of, of knowing something's going on that I clearly remember some of my hair or the hair in my brush being manipulated. You guys... If you're a gang stalking victim, protect your hair, hair, um, your brushes, your combs. Please remove any hair that falls on the floor if you cut your hair. Anything dealing with your hair, um, get it up, throw it away, uh, clean your brushes out immediately, and wash them. You know, to get any residue, you should do that anyway. But you know, clean and remove any hair from your brushes. There's a lot of witchcraft involved in gang stalking. And I'll get back to my story of of the, my products on my hair. There's a lot of witchcraft and gang stalking. Um, and we're in the end times, you guys. So protect your hair. If you are having problems with your hair and you're a gang stalking victim and all of a sudden your hair is not growing. Or for me, it's a double sword, a double edged sword because... I have my own skin and hair care line, so I have to be really careful about my hair considering I have products to sell to consumers. So I have to make sure that my stuff is protected because if it's not growing my hair, guess what? It's not growing anyone's hair. That's what they were thinking when they were uh, spreading rumors. They thought them having my hair (laughs) and doing witchcraft on it that if that part of my hair didn't grow, my products do not work. However, I, being an empath, being a targeted individual, being wise, to being 10 steps ahead of them, I knew that I had to protect my hair. I knew that I had to do people's hair. Um, I have a playlist called Testimony, uh, Testimony Playlist. You know, I did that play, did that like that because I knew that I had to prove even before I knew that they were making false accusations about this not being my hair, this in quotes, <laughs> not being my hair. What this are you talking about? You know, so I've dispelled that myth. I've shown people, shown people my hair more than once. You know, this is my hair. But I knew being 10 steps ahead of, ahead of them that I had to do testimony videos. See, it's not about me growing my hair. Okay, this is me, me thinking talking. It's about my client's hair, people that have tried the products and it's growing their hair. Now, this is what you and I would focus on because we have enough common sense to know. Let me see what this is doing to people's hair, not your hair, but other people's hair. But when you're an idiot, when you are practicing witchcraft, when you are warlock, witch, you know, uh, demonic, you're going to focus on my hair. You see, guys, see where I'm going because I am the one that produces the products. So if it's not growing my hair for an idiot, it's not growing anyone's hair. It doesn't work. And so those myths have since been those lies have since been been dispelled. I'm like, oh, no, you're not going to lie about my hair. You're not going to lie on me. You're not going to lie because even though, yes, people can go to the testimony playlist and see that the products do work. I still got to protect myself. Yeah, I'm going to show you that it's growing my hair. So ever since I found out that these idiots were focusing on my hair and lying and spreading rumors in my apartment, I don't let them see my hair. My hair is continuously covered. It's been like this for going on over six months. You know, I I do not. uh, I wash my hair with a bonnet on my head. I don't wash it as often as I want, but, and you should not wash your hair that often, but I don't even wash it as often as I recommend to you guys because uh, it's a, it's a manipulative 
the process for me. I really have to do some things. I can't just take my bonnet off my head and just I can, but I don't because of the lies. Okay, you're going to lie on me. You're going to say this. I'm not going to let you see my hair. You know, I'm going to make you suffer and not see my hair. And you guys, I have to say, because I can hear 85 percent of what's going on in, in, in as far as hearing them, I don't show my hair. My hair is the talk of the town, y'all. You know, so, you know, the the main talk of, of their conversations. And I'm sleepy. I've been asleep, but I woke up. Excuse me for yarning. It's my it's my hair. My hair is it. When, if you were smart, like I just said, you would focus on my clients. What is it? Those are different people. What is it doing to their hair? That's a smart person. So going back to what I said, I knew that my hair was being used to for, for witchcraft pur- purposes, um, even altar purposes, fast forward. I, I didn't think about altars until here recently doing my mantras and affirmations. Um, I, 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 you got, they got to have something, your blood, your hair, you know. Um, and also speaking on blood, for those of you who, and I'll get back to what I was saying about my hair. In other words, let me finish that off. My products were disappearing on that side of my hair, my flaxseed gel. Then I would go and put in slap slather a lot of it on there, like a whole bunch and, you know, let it air dry, you know, put the, you know, reach up under there and put the product on. Cause I do not take my bonnets off. If I, if I, if I switch bonnets or whatever, I'm going to put the first one in front of my head, you know, manipulate it and then slide the other one off from up under it. You know, I do not show my hair. So it's just, that's what you want to see. You're not going to see it. Now I know it's growing my hair. It's growing my hair wonderfully, you know, even bringing me to tears, you know, like how great God is. But, you know, um, and how he gave this to me, you know, to be able to grow people's hair like this naturally, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I, I, I'm not going to let you see my hair since I figured out that's what you want to see. Suffer. It just so also I want to say and it is growing my hair. OK, and I will do an update on that to sum that up. Um, but I, I find myself I, I'm finding in that area I'm having to reapply as opposed to the other side, other side disappearing too, but but the hair, you know, thicker, you know, because I remember remember I did that first cut on this other side. However, it's growing like crazy too. Don't forget that. But I noticed that it, the product would disappear. Where the hell are you going? I like put. <laughs> you should be hard as a brick because I'm reapplying, reapplying because the reason for that also, you guys, is because the product actually dissolves itself, which I absolutely love my flaxseed gels if you if it's gotten hard on your head you can just actually apply more and you can manipulate your hair uh, because it will dissolve for lack of words or loosen up what's already there and you can do whatever you want just like I guess just like any kind of gel like I guess but I, I love that about it you know so I want to also tell you guys this women who are uh, still menstruating, still having a period, please do not put tampons. Um, you can, you can, you can put tampons down the toilet. But if if you're if you are throwing your your pads away um, when you're on your menstruation menstruation and you're on your period, you know, just putting them in maybe a um, trash can that you have a line trash can on the side of your toilet you know that's how it usually goes you know because you're cleaning up you're going to get it later you know you're going to tie the bag up you know it's your you're doing you're doing your thing um make sure that you don't do that make sure that if your pads your tampons anything that's dealing with blood for the for the collective for everyone please throw them away flush them down the toilet now don't flush tampons down the toilet they are flushable, but pads definitely do not flush down the toilet. A toilet, toilet. This is for everyone. In other words, throw them away. Make sure you get rid of them. Put them in your trash bag and take the trash out, because there's a lot of witchcraft. Like I said, and either your hair or your blood is going to be needed um, to continue, or and or to get you on the path of being, you know. 
uh, or, or spells being placed on you. So do those two things. Blood, get rid of it. If you're bleeding for whatever reason, you cut yourself, you know, rinse it off in the sink or whatever, rinse it and, and take care of it. Um, but, you know, make sure that you clean the sink out. Make sure that you just get rid of any blood and hair. Put it that way. Excess blood or blood and excess hair. Okay, that's fallen. Sweep your floor. If you're a man and you cut your own hair, make sure that there is no hair residue on your floor. Women, hair fall, you know, we things we can't see. We brush our hair and some falls. And this is for men to, you know, just protect your hair. And one of the things I do before I go with my client's hair, and they are fully well aware that I will do this. Some of them are going to laugh like, yeah, she will do that. I actually... After showing you your hair, how it's not falling out like it was, how it's, you know, I'm going to show you how much of your hair has come in the brush, well, the comb or whatever, you know, this is this is what I do. And most uh, people that deal with hair don't do that. I'm going to show you your hair. I'm going to show you where it was and where it is now. As far as like when you came to me, this is how much hair you was losing two weeks later. Is this this and two weeks later after that is that. But one of the things that I do uh to my clients i'm not accepting clients clear currently not here definitely <laughs> in my apartment but if you were a former client i don't mind you coming in my place because you understand you know my situation uh like my mom that lives in this building you know i call her my mom she can come over and get her hair you know done you know do her hair twist her hair because she was she's been here the whole time you know or not the whole time of my gang stalking but she's been here she understands you know clients that understand yeah they oh okay her place <laughs> i i i i would like to believe that this is not how she truly lives even though she's saying that you know that this is not how she truly lives i like to believe her so i understand um, those people that are down with you that understand your problems, yeah, they can come back and get their hair done, but I'm not taking on new clients. Um, but they're fully aware that I will burn their hair. I let them know I'm going to burn your hair. Um, I've only had one person who let me burn their hair and then they took their hair with them because I say, you want to take it with you or do you want to burn it? No, I've had two, two. Um, you know, and, and, and I love that. No, I wasn't offended. You either I'm going to burn it or you need to burn it or take it with you. I'm not going to have your hair residue in my bag. I'm not going to, you know, in, in, in my trash bag, you know, just sweep it up, which there's never been a problem of sweeping up. You know, that's a lot of fall um, shedding or whatever. But no, no, you know, it's just usually in. Oh, excuse me. I had to go on, you know, excess hair. I burn it. I burn the hair. Hair is very spiritual. I feel it's the closest thing to your, your brain and it is spiritual. It, it hair is spoken about in the Bible. And I feel like you, you know, burn it because it is cut hair, excess hair, sh um, um, shaved hair, whatever the situation is, it came off of your head and you want to make sure that it cannot be manipulated for witchcraft or evil. Okay. It's gone. It it closes that door. It closes whatever when you cut it or you burn it, whatever had happened to your hair. I think it also removes spells that may be on your, the hair. I'm not for sure. But see, if they ha still have hair from your brush and you're, you start burning your hair, they still have your hair. So you, you see where I'm going? So please, you guys, you know, blood and hair. And I may change the title you know, protect your hair. Yeah. But I noticed uh, to sum this up that, and I've been noticing in that I would put product there and it's gone. Like, why is this product gone in that area? Because they want to continue to lie and say, my products are not growing my hair, even though my mom who ha what had alopecia doesn't have it anymore because of me. Um, she's, she's just to, just to point her out you know, you see me doing her hair. There's cameras. You're, you're, you're quiet as a mouse. You see me doing her hair and you see that her hair has grown. The video is on my YouTube channel. And by the way, um, before I go that video that I'm speaking, referencing, um, every time clients come in, I, I most times I'll ask for your camera 
um, your phone so I can let you see your hair, especially in the back and see how it's grown so that you can see for yourself what's going on. So um, mom, when she comes in, I will show her her hair. I will get her phone and show her her hair, let her know what's going on, like an update, like a video update. You know, I'm just very thorough with that. And um, you can actually see the actual length of mom's hair. Mind you, she's only come back as a client five times now, I guess, as of today. And you can actually see a video where I created a bonnet, a bonnet, a chem bonnet for her hair, you know, to protect her hair while she sleep, you know, or whatever to put on her head. I, pr I created this bonnet and I actually lifted it up after putting it on her head and uh, let you guys see the length of her hair and it's growing very well. So pry, pry, buy some of the products, you guys. Buy, buy the products, ask questions, um, all natural, you know, ask questions and, and I can answer those questions for you about the products. But the tears of joy is because uh, I'm on my way. I was gang stalked because I had a greater purpose in life than my prior life um, I was appointed as if not the only one of the top tier people to grow people's hair with alopecia and or to, to grow people's hair period but when you can grow people's hair with alopecia you can grow people's hair period so I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go um you know, I know I paused a little bit as I was talking to collect my thoughts because I'm about to go back to sleep. But um, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, things that I know I go outside the box with gang stalking and I talk about a lot of things because people want to say it's the government and I want to speak on this right quick. Yes and no. The government is not spying on you. Entities that have access to names, uh, database, databases, people's names etc are spying on you and not all entities it's not the government itself it's not the fbi that is spying on you okay it's not u.s customs that is spying on your department of treasury who are you to think that that would be the case what's going on is that this is organized crime keep it simple and there are entities that work for companies here, companies there, companies there. And it's because it's organized crime. They take advantage of their position within those companies, police officers, um, law, you know, lawyers, doc, whatever the situation is. And they take advantage of that situation. And so lots of information sharing of people. So, gotta go. Hasta la vista. Buenas horas. Buenas noches. Arriba. Delce. Avrevoa. Salida. Don't let the door not hit you where the good Lord split you. Although some of you need to let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Ciao, Bela. Ciao, Belo. Smooches. Got to go. Uh, bye. But before I go, I got to tell you guys this. I am going to be doing, okay, and I'm, I'm collecting all of this information and rewriting and editing so I can go with the flow video. Um, I am going to be doing videos on um, a, a series. It's going. I don't know if I'm going to call it a series or a guide. But I'm going to do the gang stalking, the targeted individual and gang stalkings guide or series. This I have come to the uh, decision that these particular videos will have their own playlists. And so the only videos in this playlist will be in, for access reasons. So you can just go right to them. I want you guys to do from one to how many, ever many I do. If I have 14 videos start at number one, very critical because some of them because you should you're go I'm going to do an introductory video and what this guide or these series are is how to help you understand why you're a gang stalking victim, you know, what is going on with you and how to remedy that. Okay. For me, for me, I'm going to tell you finances. I'm done. I'm done. I have, I have, I can write a book, like I told you, several, several books on these idiots. So I'm done as far as my gang stalking. Yes, I am still a gang stalking victim, but I also know how to know how to get out of the situation.
Also coming up, you guys, I'm going to talk to you. Uh, who this is? This is now. This is going to be scary. I'm going to be doing uh, videos on um, phones, the type of phones you should have if you're a gang stalking victim, targeted individual. I'm going to talk to you guys about how your your <laughs> how you should not use a phone that ha that does not have a battery that you can take out. Stop doing that. I'm also going to talk about how you just got a new phone. You just got another new phone. How are they still getting my phone number? How are they hacking in my phones all the time? I'm going to liter literally break down and tell you <laughs> how that's actually happening for you guys. Okay. Just know you're being followed. Some of you know you're being followed. Gang stalking victims. Stay away. Here's a tip. Tip. Stay away from people who have book bags, okay? If you see a person with a book bag, now if you're approaching them and they're already standing there, although they could have been hacking your phone and know you're going to that area, hint, hint. But if you are already standing in an area and or you you approach someone, let's just say I'm I'm on public transit. OK, I got rid of my vehicle. So I ride the buses and the trains in the Dallas Fort Worth in the Dallas area. So I know not to do this. I'm not going to go to an area or waiting for a train or a bus. And I know there's someone there with a book bag. Knowing that my phone is, is continuously hacked into, you know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely not going to stand there if I'm already in the area and have someone come near me with a book bag. Hint, hint. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. Bye.